I love people. People make me tick. Um, I love making people feel good. Um, I know what makes people <laughs> tick well. Um, and I just love guests and being around with them, especially from all over Europe and the world, and just giving them that really good feeling. I was working in another hotel and it was about 1997 and I heard about this hotel that was going up and I passed it one day and um, I went in and I said to myself, yeah, this place looks nice, I could just imagine myself here. Typical day would be arriving here about 10 to 7. I arrive in, I get my list of arrivals, see who's coming in, um, departure list, we might have a lot of VIPs coming in. Uh, a lot of requests, maybe somebody wants to get engaged or get flowers or things like that. So there's always something going on. In school, I wouldn't have been the brightest kid in the block, but I was very good at retaining facts and information, so I was very good at history and English. And if you put the two of them together with dates and names, you know why I'm very, very good at that. And so when guests arrive here from all over, you know, I introduce myself and I go over a map with them, give them five minutes of my time. Hey, we are here, okay, and I'm going to give you the a map of the city here. I'm going to go over the things that most people like to see in the city. Again, they're here for three or four days, but when it really gets them is next morning. When the lift opens, I'm in the lobby. They say, good morning, Connor, and I'd say, good morning, Ellen, good morning. And you, they are bamboozled. And they just say, how do you do it, you know? It's just focusing on people. It's just something I love. And if you remember someone, the, the, the main thing about a person is, the sweetest thing to a person is their name. If you remember their name, they know this person means business and they feel at home. Just the two of you here, and Gemma, is that right, Gemma has gone to pick up a friend coming from Sligo. Marvellous, marvellous, great. Rather, when you come to most hotels, what room number are you in every morning? Instead of saying, is it Mr. and Mrs. Jones, or can I call you Sybil? And, whatever it is, John. People want that and they love it. Family from Australia that arrived here a couple of years ago, they stayed here for a week. They were visiting their family in Limerick. They came back again last year and they're back again this year and it's just home to home for them, you know? Yeah. Danny, how are you? God, it's great to see you. There you go. Danny, how great you? to see you. Oh, I would be fairly close with them, you know? If ever I was going to Australia, I'd think I'd stay with them, you know? <laughs> but uh, it's great to have that rap. It's absolutely fantastic, you know? Okay, <laughs> this is great to see you, okay? Great. I'm here if you need me. Yeah. A very strong friendship here with a lot of the colleagues here. Um, my own colleague Marvin here, he's fantastic, he does a great job. It's like my second family, you know. Everybody here is very customer friendly and it's very, very important. And we have a wonderful general manager, Anne McKiernan, and every day she comes in, she checks out the guests, goes to meet them, welcomes them, and it's something you don't see in many establishments. I've travelled a bit and I've seen a lot of, been to a lot of hotels and nobody very rarely goes out of their way. So it's lovely to see that here. We all get on great. It's a, it's a great team, you know. Uh, we're like, I suppose, the Manchester United of football in the old days. We, 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 we gel together, we, we're all in it. We do our, our work together and we gel off each other. Um, the reception staff do their job. Um, the restaurant staff, upstairs, the housekeeping, can't say enough about them. And it just all gels together. It's a wonderful teamwork. There's a couple from um, Newfoundland. Eddie and Georgina, and they arrived here about three years ago, and they stayed with us for, I think it was a week or two. And after about a week, I got to know them very, very well. And then one day, Eddie said, listen, Connor, can you do me a favor? And I said, Eddie, what, what, lovely, whatever I can do. He said, we're married 25 years this week. We want to renew our vows. Can you organize a priest, a church, a limousine? I said, leave it to me, I'll organize it. So within one day, I had everything organized, so it was fantastic. And it was uh, our relationship has been, you know, very positive after that. They went back very, very happy. And there was a lot of tears that day because actually I joined in. I was there at the ceremony up in that Farnham and it was just a wonderful thing. I will be a very hands-on family man. Um, I said I have two children that I adore, Katie and James, and uh, my life revolves around them. About um, 
15 years ago, a couple arrived in here from California, John and Janice Hall. And they stayed here for about a week or two, got to know them well. Both of them were professors. And we had a great old chat each day and how we end. You coming out with me, Connor, and you kind of say, no, Mr. Hall, you know, John, call me John. So they came back the following year and we got real close and everything was great. My wife at the time had got sick. She got cancer and uh, <clears throat> she was doing, getting treatment. And John would, would always ask how she is. And then they went away and then the following year they came back and they asked the first question to come in the door to say, how is Carol? And I was saying, you know, things are, Things are up in the air at the moment, but to make a long story short, they stayed here for two weeks and they went back. And Carol took very, very bad and she passed away. The day they came back, they were here in January, February. She passed away in the May. When John heard about it, he flew over here for a week and he stayed with me in the hotel here wanted to see my children and to go to the grave. And the reason being was that I touched his life and he was there in my grief now. And that is the most amazing story. I remember even going back 14 years ago, guests coming here. And without a flicker of a thing, if they asked me for a restaurant, I'd be walking down the road with them. I'd be walking down the road. It's just, and people would say, hey, walk, what are you doing? What? You wouldn't get this where we come from, you know, but that's the difference here, you know. And we do it without, it's not a chore. That's the secret. It's not a chore. It's a natural little thing. A wink of an eye, a shake of a hand, a smile. That's what people want. They go out that door and they say to me, Thank you very much for looking after me. It's just heaven. That's it. No more. Money couldn't buy it. <laughs> it's great to see people happy. I, I, I love it. <laughs> and I just think that, they, that for someone to go from America to come to Ireland and someone to look after them for two or three days is fantastic. And then when I arrive in in the morning, they say, Hi, Connor, can you organise this for me? Can you organise this? It's great, and there's a great buzz, they said, but what happens too is you have to let go because when they leave, it's sad. I mean, the best part of my job is meeting people. The sad part is, you know, saying goodbye, you know, knowing the chances are you probably won't see them again. But you've made a connection in their mind, and they won't, they'll never forget you. <laughs>